Hi, I'm Jakob, product manager at Schwalbe for all of our road and gravel tires. And we often get asked the question, is road tubeless safe? The short answer is yes, it is safe if done correctly. And there's a lot of thinking and also science going into our Schwalbe Road Tubeless products. And what is going on behind the scenes, we will show you in this video. We started the first development of Road Tubeless tires around 2010. The result was our Ultremo ZX Tubeless at that time. Um, we quickly made progress with our tubeless, Road Tubeless products and also had a really great result with the S1 back then. It's the same tread pattern as our G1 Speed now at Perry roubaix in 2015 with Martin Elbinger. Uh, he finished in fifth place on a tubeless setup. And after that, more One and Pro One models followed. And we are currently in the fourth generation of road tubeless tires. So in total, we have well over a decade of experience with road tubeless tires. When it comes to tubeless setups, there are three main issues you have to overcome. The first thing being the system has to be air retaining. The second one has to be good mounting properties when you want to set up your tire tubeless. And the third one is product safety. So fundamentally, there is more force on the tire, especially the bead core, when the system is set up tubeless which is why product safety is extremely important in the development of a road tubeless tire. The bead core of a tire is basically the ring that holds the tire onto the rim. Uh, it can be made out of a non-flexible material like steel. Usually we call that a wired bead core. And for most road, gravel and mountain bike tires, we have a flexible bead core. So the tire is a folding tire, so I can fold up the tire and put it in a box, save space and make it also lighter. So then the bead core material is made out of something flexible. Um, without the rubber, it will be looking something like this. In road riding in general, higher pressures are used in comparison to mountain bike and gravel. So we're talking about two or three times the maximum pressure that we use in mountain bike or gravel. So this is an issue for the bead core in general. But then if you step up and leave the inner tube out, the tire itself has to withstand even higher forces in the tubeless configuration. So in our case, we use a high modulus core for our bead cores, um, a very expensive material that doesn't cut any corners for safety. The special thing about it is that it doesn't stretch at all under pressure. We have really high max pressures um, that we test here in the laboratory. And we also analyze how the shape and also the windings um, influence the derailing safety of our tires. So you will see under the, the microscope um, that we go through different iterations of how many windings we use in the bead core, what material. Uh, also the size is extremely important. So the circumference of the tire after being produced is a really crucial element in this uh, development. And we use a lot of time and money um, to ensure product safety with our road tubeless tires. Here at our Schwalbe headquarters in Germany, we have a big testing facility and we use different kinds of tests to ensure product safety. The most important being our derailing test. Um, there is an ISO standard for the industry, which is that a tire has to withstand 110% of the indicated max pressure for five minutes. We think this is not enough. Um, our testing is that we use 160%, so factor 1.6 times the max indicated max pressure on the tire for one hour at least. This testing procedure is mandatory for all of our tire products and is especially crucial for road tubeless tires, of course.
our tube type and tubeless easy road bike tires can look very similar um, but all of our tires have a tube type or TLE flag. TLE stands for tubeless easy and tube type indicates that your tire is only um, compatible in a standard um, tube configuration. So if you find this tubeless easy flag on your tire, you know you can ride this tire tubeless. Um, the technology between both tires is very similar. The difference is that the, in this case, Pro One TLE has more rubber on the sidewall. We call that carcass topping thickness to make it air retaining. And also I explained already that the bead core material is very different. So only the tubeless easy version is safe to ride in a tubeless configuration. All of our tubeless tires are designed to fit perfectly on rims that are designed according to the ETRTO standards. So what does that mean? The ETRTO is the European Tire and Rim Technical Organization and they set the standards on how a rim has to be designed. So they set a certain tolerance for certain dimensions and a certain size and we as a tire manufacturer have to ensure that our tires fit these rims that are within the standards of the ETRTO. So in general there are two design choices um, that are used in road right now. One is a crotch type and one is a hookless design. To explain briefly what I mean by dimensions, uh, we have uh, key criteria for the circumference of certain parts of the rim. So we have the center drop, we have the shoulder where the bead core finally will sit when the tire is mounted. And then the sidewall, which can have um, a small crotch or hook, or can be a hookless design without a hook. The hookless design is a fairly new development in the road segment. It has been used before in the mountain bike world, but now uh, it also comes to the road segment. Uh, it can have certain advantages. Uh, it is easier to produce, therefore sometimes cheaper. Uh, it is also sometimes lighter, um, but it also limits the choice of tires that you can ride on your system. A hookless wheel will only be compatible with our Schwalbe tubeless tires, so it is not compatible with tube type tires. Even if you use a tube in your system, you still will have to ride a tubeless tire to be compatible and safe with a hookless rim. The choice of tires is furthermore limited by the manufacturer of the hookless wheels themselves. So if you ride a hookless wheel, you will have to get information from the brand which tires exactly are compatible with your wheel. So again, speaking for Schwalbe tires, it is mandatory to use a tubeless tire on your hookless wheel uh, even if you use an uh, inner tube in your system. Generally, our maximum pressures are indicated on the tire itself. You will find an engraving on the tire. Um, but you will also always have to consider the maximum pressure of your wheel. So if the indicated pressure of the wheel is lower than the indicated pressure of your tire, you will have to use the lower value for your tire pressure. Um, I always say usually people ride too high tire pressures anyhow, but this is the maximum pressure you can inflate into your system. So you will see on the wheels that it also has an indication uh, what kind of rim it is, usually how wide the inner width is. Then you will have an indication what the minimum tire width is and also which tires are compatible. In this case, TLE or TLR for tubeless easy or tubeless ready. And then also a max pressure of five bar. This is a hookless design rim, which usually has the maximum pressure five bar. This is also the ETRTO standard for hookless designs. So five bar is usually the maximum pressure for hookless designs. Uh, while crotch type rims can go higher in pressure. 
We do extensive testing of wheel compatibility here in our lab. Uh, we do that in collaboration with a lot of wheel manufacturers. Since we are part of the ETRTO, we have a high interest that our tires are compatible with all of the ETRTO compatible wheels out there. Usually the big brands uh, in rim and wheels will send us their wheels even ahead of their product launch. So we have a good idea of what developments are coming into market soon and therefore we can ensure compatibility with everything that is designed within the ETRTO standards. On our webpage you will find information on which wheels we already tested with our tires but since most brands and manufacturers move to ETRTO standards and nowadays our tires will be compatible with most of the modern tubeless designs out there.